Welcome back to Land Investing 101. Today we're going to talk about tenancy at will. We're talking about leasehold estates or non-freehold estates in land. These are estates that have a limited duration. They include a term for years, one, a periodic tenancy, two, tenancy at will, and tenancy at sufferance, number four. So number three, and we're doing these in order, is tenancy at will. A tenancy at will is a tenancy that has no express duration and can be terminated at any time without notice to either party. Tenancy at will is something with no express duration. What they mean by express duration is that nothing was written down. So a tenancy at will is usually a verbal agreement um, that it doesn't say when uh, the agreement starts, when the agreement ends, and it doesn't give any periodics. So you're not usually in a real estate situation. You're renting out. Sure, you can use it for X amount. Um, you, you can use it for X amount a month, but there's no durational language, meaning sometimes they don't even say month. Yeah, you can use it at a reasonable rate, right? Um, they move in. There was no set timeline. There's no set timeline on when to pay the bill. This is going to be considered a tenancy at will. And the only thing you need to evict a tenant when there is tenancy at will is reasonable notice, right? So you probably can't knock on the door at one o'clock in the morning and try to kick them out. You're going to need reasonable notice and reasonable is determined by the courts. Um, so this is why it's always a good idea to have a written agreement. But if you don't have a written agreement and you have a tenancy at will, um, it basically means it can go on as long as any party wants to, um, unless it's terminated by any a party. But if any party terminates, it has to be just reasonable notice or no notice at all. Um, again, this is tenancy at will. In the next video, we're going to go over tenancy at sufferance.